Hello dear fans. What plants grow in a pond? Water lily, or water lily, one of the most popular plants of the reservoir, belongs to the category of deep sea plants. These flowers are very beneficial for the pond, as they provide the necessary protection from the sun for aquatic life and keep the pond clean by keeping the water clear. Instructions Step 1. The bog flower resembles a water lily with its wavy leaves. The yellow flowers of this plant are up to 4 cm in diameter. The marsh flower belongs to deep water plants, grows at a depth of 0.3 to 0.6 m, and the flowers rise 5 to 8 cm above the water. Step 2. The water lily belongs to the type of water lily, although it is not as beautiful and graceful as it is. Yellow small flowers up to 8 cm in diameter rise above the water on thick stems. The egg capsule can grow in standing or running water, as well as in the shade and sun. This deep sea plant goes under the water by 0.3 to 0.6 m, and the flowers rise above the surface up to 8 cm. Step 3. Duckweed can cover any pond with a beautiful velvety carpet. Most species of duckweed grow very quickly and are able to tighten the entire reservoir with their leaves. This plant is often found in stagnant ponds or swamps. For an artificial reservoir, three-lobed duckweed is used, since it grows somewhat slower than other species. This plant provides shade in the pond and also serves as food for fish. Step 4. Hornwort is considered one of the most popular aquatic plants, which helps maintain biological balance in the pond. This unpretentious and picky plant has no roots, so its amount in the pond can be controlled. A dense and branched hornwort grows under any light conditions, hibernates in the form of buds at the bottom of the reservoir. Step 5. Calamus belongs to coastal large plants. It has long arrow-shaped leaves reaching 0.5 to 1 m in height. Calamus grows at a depth of 8 to 15 centimeters and is home to many aquatic and coastal inhabitants. Calamus also perfectly decorates a small artificial reservoir. Step 6. Sedge, like Calamus, grows at a shallow depth of 15 centimeters. This tall coastal plant is also found in swampy soils far from water bodies. The color of the leaves varies from yellow to green and white, depending on the plant variety. The sedge reaches 0.3 to 0.6 m in height. Step 7. Marigold bushes are very popular for decorating artificial ponds. This very unpretentious plant begins to bloom in early spring in April. The leaves are round or heart-shaped, and the bright yellow flowers resemble chrysanthemums and buttercups. The marigold is planted to a depth of 5 cm and reaches a height of 0.3 to 0.5 m. Step 8. The bright flowers of the cuchula resemble the small yellow buttons that cover the surface of the pond all summer. Cthulhu bushes rise up to 15 cm above the water, and the planting depth should not exceed 12 cm. This annual plant easily propagates by self-seeding.